and welcome back guys to the LP of Kozak's back to war of course we're doing the tutorial number two of 58 cool stuff but why 58 I have no idea nonetheless as long as it works I guess I guess nonetheless let's go now construct other buildings build a blacksmith so that you will be able to build a mighty empire and a stable for horses Build it as soon as you can. Select peasant now and build a blacksmith. Cause she is awesome and you are not. So let's go. Now, of course, this is what we had last time. Two town halls. Awesome. Market of awesome. Of course, let's again go to the game menu because there's a problem with the menus. It tends to like uh, bullshit you over, I guess. So let's say do not play music. I'm doing the music here because in the background because there are problems with the music. I have no idea. And fast mode, it always goes on the fast mode. Even though it put it on the fucking slow mode. Maybe the game speed problem here is. You know, even though game mode, nonetheless, who cares? Let's go. Slow mode, again, nice golden fields of wheat. Not wheat, mind you. Again, not wheat. Moving on, get to peasant or uh, Sardukar. He's not Sardukar, he's a Don Cossack. Like, he's a boss or shit like that. Our guys are doing their stuff. Let's get a bunch of people here get more people like get the fuck huge amount of people 26 peasants here 16 peasants here I think they're gonna do their job now let's see immediately we're gonna drop on the food as the food is our lowest resource at the moment and the most precious resource we actually do have let's do this they will immediately jump on resource you don't have to press each one of them as we have learned in the previous tutorial which is awesome tutorial of awesomeness we're gonna learn that we can actually just a bunch of them as you can see immediately just chops those fucking wheat down not wheat 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 fucking english moving on the upgrade can we upgrade we can't upgrade because this thing doesn't have an upgrade now what the fuck i do not know because i'm guessing that the game th thought that i'm gonna upgrade the last time but they did not upgrade the last time anyway the second tutorial build a blacksmith so you need 100 wood stone 50 iron 640 l so let's build the blacksmith because we need the blacksmith so we can build awesome units of awesomeness with pikes shields armors of awesome now let's let's go bunch of guys here these guys are like so now 16 of these assholes gonna just chop those wheat down wheat wheat god damn it and get our food back the food is 1000 2000 getting to 2000 awesome I get these guys into the iron working because again maximum of five guys that's cool guy again they're waiting to get inside do their stuff because th that's how they're prepped for the tutorial now blacksmith has been built now you can construct military buildings of awesome only two guys here eh? immediately five guys are in the gold mine of course they're caught because they're that, that's how they're awesome are what the fuck is it with awesome next build the barracks of awesome in the barracks you can create the infantrymen of the 17th century imagine that select peasants and build a 17th century barracks now awesome stuff is awesome i'm gonna stop saying awesome because it's getting me annoyed Let's see, let's build a nice barracks here, yeah. Okay, barracks are there, get new stuff, get those pikemen or whatever the first infantry is uh, for the Russians. We're playing as Russian, by the way, if you didn't know it, the, the freaking uh, Russian peasants are called serfs. Serfs, serve and protect, not the peasants, but the militia. Not militia, actually, just the infantrymen. Good, your barrack has been finished. Select it and create the pikemen. If you want to order five yes units, we press shift click five immediately. Control key on the unit, and they can infinitely make units as long as you have gold. So let's see that, shall we? Okay, our first barracks are done, and let's make this beautiful strelets. Strelats, strelats, whatever. Having units created non stop is quite useful if you have enough resources and constantly need troops. At the moment, we can't really spam them, so we can just like go like that. Uh, come on, allow me, please. Now create a pikeman. Thank you. Ten. Okay, ten pikeman. I'll create twenty. Fifty-five pikeman. There. Happy. Now, what? Yeah, let's see. We have other stuff doing. Excellent. And we don't have to worry about anything else anymore. Get some more uh, fucking food because food is the most important thing we're gonna have 55 freaking sterlites 
they're pikemen, let's just go on. But there's spearmen actually, there's spearmen. What the fuck is Trillette? Who is Trillette then? What the fuck did I want? Who, who was Trillette? Oh, Strelet's Barracks, that's how they're called. The Barracks is called Strelet's Barracks, okay. Yeah, of course, this girl, uh, of course, Spearmen, they're Spearmen. Okay, not Pikemen. Ah, same thing. Now, let's you can hear they're cool looking dudes. They have beards, they have like those freaking funny hats of, hat, of pettiness, and they have like dresses. Good! Judging from the rumors, the bands are going to attack you from the northeast. Mind you, northeast. Watch out. Well, good for us, now that I know where they're gonna attack. Ho 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 Okay, so let's get, again, these guys onto the wheat field of awesome. Because, again, we need the food. We always need the food, and we want to be sure. There they come, the freaking infantryman. The light infantryman of the Turkish Empire. Look at them, look at those chubby little bastards. The funny thing, you would expect them to be a little bit more black. Nonetheless, moving on, killing them. Well, you see, they can't really stand to the pikemen of awesome, awesome pikemen just go, arr, arr, you face, and you face, and they're dead. Good, you have rebuffed the attack. Look at that nice picture. Now take, take care. I thought he said like, now take ears of your enemy and eat them. Of security of your settlement. In the game, many unguarded buildings, and now this is the most important part of the game. Uh, in the many in the game, of course, many underguarded buildings, mines, and peasants may be captured by the enemy. So that's how you actually capture stuff in the game, which is very nice. You don't remember, for instance, in, uh, in CNC, you only need engineer to capture stuff. Some people actually adore when you can capture stuff like that and gain the enemy uh, troops, which is all in all always awesome. But there is one thing you can do in this game that can, like, say, uh, "Fuck you, you ain't getting my shit." Press the late button. Just press it. You ain't gonna get shit. <laughs> that's the to me that's like a really cheap tactic but again eh, you can sometimes you might not notice so yeah anyway as long as it works it's awesome i love this game a, a game is just whoo anyway this second tour is gonna be long ass tutorial i'm guessing so anyway moving on so guard the buildings so the, they can be captured peasants so they can be captured Therefore, it is recommended that you place two or three guards near each building, mine and places where peasants work. You can order your troops to guard any object of your settlement as follows. Select a few guys, aka pikemen maybe. In the lower left part of the interface, you will see a guard icon. That guard icon is this thing, you see? This thing, these two guys and there's like a window of opportunity where someone can pass and just kill other guys behind them. Nonetheless, guard icon, click on it so that the cursor turns into the shield of awesome. Moving the cursors on the map, you'll notice that the shield cursor is gray. And it will you will actually see it now anyway. In places where there is nothing to guard. But as soon as you point the cursor at the object that can be guarded, the cursor will be colored. In the case, in this case at least, left click for the soldiers to guard an object until you order them to do otherwise. This is a very interesting guard option, use you as I will mention soon. Now, place guards throughout your village so that, that the enemy can't capture your units. Now, this is very, as I said, a very interesting thing. So if, let's get these guys, let's, all, uh, let, we have three pikemen, do the guard icon G, press, and as you can see, when there's nothing to guard, it's a very strong colored gray, or blue maybe. And this is like colored nothing, gray. Anyway, moving on, put these guys there, put these guys there. Because now we have a bunch of guys, I think we can guard everything here. Get a bunch of guys here, onto our main holes, because our main holes are the most important parts. So plus, we have our peasants around those positions. You know, we'll just be awesome about that. And now, if you want to move these guys, it should be set to guard mode, okay? You want to move him, move him like this, okay? Okay? Now he moves, and he immediately gets back to the building that he's... I mean, you can move him a little bit, or a long bit, but he will always return to the place where he's guarding at the very moment you set them to. Which is, a, again, very nice uh, feature, and it's, it's just mind-blowing how this game has so many nice level things in it. Again, attention to details is something I take very much dear to, but well, becomes very dear to me. Because, again, people don't, especially today, of course, don't put those things in the games. The rebellious Cossacks in the southwest are going to attack you. Holy shit! Move your major troops to this direction. I don't have any. Be careful, the enemy may capture unguarded buildings, mines, or peasants. Of course, but that's why I set up some units back there, you douchebag. Like, allow me to freaking guard stuff. When you see the enemy attacking you with superior force, 
and you feel you may lose the battle, you can attack with your peasants. Of course, peasants are less effective than regular troops, however their presence may change the course of battle. When attacking with peasants, make sure you, your troops are near them, otherwise they will be captured. That's again a nice thing. Do you maybe remember Battle Realms game? You remember how that first time you actually like seen in 3D, I guess? Uh, the, the when peasant fight the enemy and it looks cool you know it, i remember that was like really like something that wowed me you know that was just beautiful nonetheless moving on as you can see this game also has that select the group and press a and set the point by left wing this is of course auto attack move move attack command if you will a and some position and alongside that position every your unit will attack every enemy unit that they see okay the cool stuff so we have guards, we have a bunch of actually guards, and let me guard other stuff here. Oh no, they're attacking! The Cossacks are attacking! As you can see, they're mutilating my uh, freaking uh, evil dudes. Cossacks are very fast unit, very maneuverable, and they, you, can, you can capture stuff with them. You have done well, my son! They're all dead. Of course, as you can see, peasants immediately attack, fight, rape, Village torch, all that good stuff, and look at those mustachios. Now build an academy. Select the peasants to do so. Okay, these two peasants that are not doing crap, they're gonna build an academy. As you can see, academy needs 1,250 wood and stone, 1,300 J. Okay, but it's actually the, the, what you see J and B. That's just your shortcuts, of course. <laughs> anyway, let's build an academy. Where are you gonna be building an academy? As you can see, you have this specific points where you can actually put those things. Uh, okay, we have a bunch of guys for taking the town falls. We have some guys. The guys here are totally dead. Let's spam a little bit more of the awesomer uh, peasants, uh, serfs, if you will. Let's call them by their real names as they are in the game. So that gets a little bit more specific on what unit you're using. And because uh, to me, that's more, again, attention to detail, even by me just saying so. So anyway. So let's get those serves up onto the rocks of oh, awesome. Not really because those rocks are weak as hell. But you can kill probably someone with them. So get chopping some trees. Let's actually just drop them here. Uh, control. Control right click. Maybe they're just gonna stone. I do not know. Maybe they won't. Maybe I mean maybe they can just stone or maybe they even just do the also jump on the trees. Have no idea. Nonetheless, we have a bunch of troops, a bunch of pikemen, and a bunch of new pikemen that are actually doing the good stuff. Of course, again, if you actually do this, you see, you see, they're not uh, getting the guards at all. You see, the cool stuff. There, you, you, you know, you, you don't like get interference that you take accidentally your guards and move them, and then you're like, oh god, god damn it, I have to micro this piece of shit again. You know, you have that. You're like, it's it's totally cool. You know, it, it's the small things, but they work, and that is the most freaking important thing in this game. They freaking work, and again, it's not about spam your units, which is the most, you know, the biggest part. You have these massive armies, but you actually have tactics for them. You know, how specifically you're gonna use, you know, positioning your soldiers in specific positions, using your Cossack, as you can see, they're fast, furious, they are the need for speed, okay? They can capture units as fast as hell, they can uh, outmaneuver your troops, attack them from behind, do the, uh, do the uh, freaking uh, attack, of course, on the back and kill most of your troops, you know, uh, make your troop get like all crazy and shit. I don't know if the morale is in this game or something, I have no idea. As you can see the detail screen of the unit, the attack and all that, the defense is zero, the attack is nine. I'm guessing this is the penetration values of the certain units. Uh, they have 150 bombs because they're gonna use the bombs to drop on the walls and enemy buildings if they can capture them, which is again a very nice stuff, awesome stuff, the beautiful game. Uh, as I said, it's it's one of those games that just goes under your skin. It's sudden strike of the 17th and 18th century. You know, it just has the has the tactics. You can take your time to play it. Uh, you can spam, you can rush, you can defend. As, I mean, that's again a regular stuff about RTS games. But still, you have to watch for the money, watch for the food, because money and food. You want best troops. Have to watch the money. Money uh, goes down. You lose those troops, they uh, turn on you. And I mean, uh, <laughs> especially mercenary units. So if you have food, you know, uh, food, get famine. Losing your units on the battlefield is not the best thing if you're gonna lose them because you don't have food, right? Cool. 
Okay, food is 21,000. Said they, this goes over the freaking thing, you know. We didn't upgrade anything, so we can get a little bit more. Let's get, let's, I mean, because of the tutorial, but nonetheless, let's just do this. Uh, the academy is half built. Let's get more guys. I mean, only three guys doing the academy stuff. As you can see, they are actually just concentrating on the stone, not on the wood. But we have these guys doing the wood stuff, some on the stone stuff up there. But we're gonna get, nonetheless, wood there and get some more peasantry. Uh, it would, we can't make any more peasantry, it would seem. I don't know why. I don't I don't know why. I can't build peasants anymore. Blasphemy. It doesn't matter. Let's get these two peasants. Well, one peasant, actually. I thought that it was two peasants, but nonetheless. Maybe that other peasant went under and under the wheat. And, and, and he was he's hiding a little like a bitch. Doesn't matter. He's gonna die anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get, as you can see, now we have less and less of our golden hair thingy. So we're gonna build more, as you can see, we plant more, we do more, we get more, of course. Uh, preferably having more of this stuff, but because of the tutorial, we ain't gonna really lose to anyone. Again, uh, the game has very hard campaigns. I, I never passed one mission. Not one. Playing, I usually played single player missions, and there are a bunch of them. But when you play campaigns, that's much more, because campaigns have the hero status for some units, you know, like, you have heroes. And you have to watch them, and you know, and you can lose them easily, by the way. But again, you know, you have the, all those options, you know, during the missions. They're very versatile missions, if you will. I mean, there are so many things you can do in missions. They're just not build stuff, kill stuff. You know, that they're cool. But I mean, usually, you know, of course, in every game, you kill stuff. So, yeah, get it as it is. So, anyway, we have a bunch of those guys. We can, of course, uh, spam more of these guys. Why the hell not? While the freaking academy is being finished, and it's being finished very, very soon, <coughs> very soon. Let's get, let me just get a little bit of milk because talking like this, like a bitch, it's very hard. So we're gonna do the tutorial first, then do come one of the campaigns later on. Maybe takes time, people. Takes freaking time to do all that. Uh, nonetheless, I'm gonna get this uh, alongside the Rising Kingdom. So the Rising Kingdom human campaign is getting to the close. Very, very, very close to the end, and you know, I'm just gonna do the human campaign, and that's it. So great, the academy has been finished. And now you can create commanders and the drummers, and this is the most two important units, man. Just now you'll see why. The units required to build up formations. This unit, that is the drummer and commander. In your barracks, create a commander and a drummer. Select the barracks and order one commander and one drummer. Let's get uh, 10 of these and 10 of these. Actually, let's get one. Actually, yeah, one. One of this. Let's just do it like that, like a boss. Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? You're not a soldier. Now, usually in Academy, I think you can buy stuff, the upgrades, but again, uh, as, it is, as it is tutorial, we'll get to that point, the research and all that, of course, the tutorial and stuff like that. As I said in the previous video, it's a tutorial, it cuts few stuff out until you actually can get them during the later tutorials, where we're gonna probably do one last mission, like, for instance, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds, if you played, you do the tutorial, then you get to the main mission, or the Age of Empires, when you usually have, like, tutorial area. The last mission is usually the mission, you know, where you utilize everything you have learned, if you learn. <coughs> but this thing, getting the commander and the drummer, is the most important thing for Cossacks, for the tactics, for everything, okay? The most freaking important thing. Let's see how much we have. We have 48 dudes here. 48 dudes. I can get more of these dudes. As you can see, we're running low on wheat. Get more things, put more in the ground, give the ground a little bit of life. Our Don Kazak is the most useless unit at the moment. I'm gonna just put him here. Maybe he's gonna guard one of the come on, come and guard uh, one of the one of the treasuries we have, the storehouses. That's a treasury for me. Gives food, water, wood, whatever. Uh, let's get some upgrades for our mines. Let the gold mine upgrade. Get the second one. In, in large mines and build extensive railroad network for them. Plus five gives you the ability to put five more peasants into the freaking mine. Let's get every mine upgraded. Because we at the moment have lots of stuff. In the blacksmith we can't do anything. We can't upgrade anything there of course at the moment. Uh, and that's about it. So the upgrades are getting fast as you can see. That's only the second upgrade. 
we can put five more peasantry inside we don't have any more peasant to build i guess we have captured our limit for the tutorial that's totally okay groovy and all that uh, okay get these guys uh, actually we have these peasants here not doing anything I'm gonna put them that's uh, four peasants right four peasants excellent uh, so we can put one more peasant where is that one more peasant that's one more peasant into the mine of coldness mine of moria and get the good stuff because we have st we still have a, a stone here wood all the good stuff Excellent! Let's build up a squad. Now, this is one something very important, which I've noticed in most multiplayer matches that people don't ever, ever use. Uh, for this, we need 36 pikemen, one commander and one drummer. Gather all these units and select the commander. In the lower left part of the interface, you will see formation icons. There are three of them, each corresponding to a certain type of formation. Rank, column, and square. Choose the type you need. Apart from the information, of 36 units you can also create formations of 15 72 120 and 196 units so let's see we have a bunch of units now we got a bunch of commanders well one commander at the moment we build and one drum right so let's do so you see in the left corner we have selected what kind of units we have let's get the hell this dude out he's unneeded that's just a freaking surf okay so we choose a commander okay we choose a commander, and this is where we choose assume rank formation, whatever. Let's go with the uh, rank formation. And there is what choices you have, what units. It, again, depend upon huge amount of units. Uh, if you have uh, like as you have 15 units, it will be say 15 units of these guys because that's the amount you at the moment have these specific guys. So we have 36 guys, even though we have a bunch of actually more spearmen, but not enough number, not 72 number, which we will be needing to make that kind of line unless 36 spearmen we have made uh we have made a squad your neighbor is going to attack you the enemy is reported to have sent troops to your village use your newly formed squad to defeat the enemy so this is our enemy uh, our enemy our squad we have a drummer and a commander okay so we're gonna move them here okay and be awesome about it now they're gonna attack from this position if i'm not mistaken we're gonna move them here as you can see the drumming going if you can hear now let's And if, of course, if you if you press on any of these guys, it, it, it selects the entire squad. Again, one of the great things about this game is that it's not uh, that micro, you know, sensitive crap where you feel like you're not doing much. And here comes the guys without any kind of uh, support of the commander or, of course, of the awesome drummer persona. Let's attack them. As you can see, we are actually killing them. 27, 26 of our guys still alive and 26 left. So 36, 26, huge amount of guys actually lost. But compared to the enemy who had a huge number of their spearmen, they lost all of them. So this will keep your neighbor from you for a while. As you have seen, the squad is more effective and can handle larger enemy troops. This is due to the fact that the unit's informations receive a bonus for both attack and defense. See? This is something I did not ever know about this game. Tutorials, man. When, uh, when people actually make good tutorials, you know that they actually work. You know, you can actually test them whenever you want. And of course, now that we have a bunch of troops dead, we're sad, of course, but that's okay. It's understandable. That's okay. Now your land is relatively quiet. Build a stable and a church. If you don't have enough resources, gather more. So let's do that. But because now we know this, let's build a few squads, right? Why not? Because, you know, let's get five of this, five of this, and get, like, a bunch of these guys. And now we can again build more of our awesome peasantry. Let's build a, build a few peasants here, a few peasants here. You know, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Benissimo. Get again, as you can see, we have upgraded them more. It's similar to the upgrade, I guess, in the Angel of Empires, where you have to, you have to replenish every single uh, farm. Uh, but, of course, in this in this uh, thing, you just press once and it's, you know, it takes the entire freaking thing. 
uh, you know, not like just uh, kill entire fucking farm farming community for fuck's sake, just to actually replenish your farming needs or whatever you want as a couple. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. If you ever played Age of Empires, nonetheless, uh, let's build a church. Church is good, I guess. You, you can see again the amount of detail on this on this building is just uh, wow. Let's build a church first. Church is cool, guys, where the cool guys live. Again, we don't have enough. I guess we did uh, reach our maximum amount of units we can have. Let's see. Food, uh, wood, and stone. Stone is like a huge amount of stone. We can get these guys from the stone and uh, onto the building of the freaking Church of Awesome. Maybe finish this uh, mission a little bit earlier. Because, again, we have uh, more uh, tutorials which will get in more depth uh, with uh, the certain stuff. Uh, more formations probably research which is of course the most important part of any game and of course many other things so at the moment of course we have lost one squad of awesome well we will lose but we have one and again 36 guys 26 left compared to the enemies which looked much uh, like a much bigger army so anyway get this guys and let's see if we can actually do it like normally here with plus oh man come on don't do this to me don't do this to me Great, the church has been erected. Really, erection on a church. That's somehow suiting. Create several priests. They can feel when the units. Bring a priest to the squad and you'll see him kill the units. The presence of a priest in a battle formation can strengthen your troops in action. I guess it has certain additions. You see, I would never usually build priests unless I think only him, that he can do only healing. Mind you, but that's me. So, yeah. Let's build another barracks because we can. So yeah, let's again build a squad, try to build a squad, because it's not really going well. Okay, 37, 37, 36 units, let's settle them here. Again, they will only, as you have seen, I have taken a huge amount of uh, commanders and the troops, but they still just set and divided one commander and one drummer, or one uh, squad of pikemen, which again is a very uh, nice stuff. And we can't build any more pikemen. Well, it was uh, fun while it lasted. Okay, okay, these guys can just enjoy themselves. Oh wait, we have stables to build also. Let's build stables near the church. Get that nice manure smell into the church. So yeah. You know what? Kill them with delayed. As you can see what delayed does. Delayed kills stuff. Again, a little bit of a cheat, I would say, but eh. Well, we could have made another squad with one commander one drummer which we will do and that's it so we have in total two squad 31 is coming up and all working well we don't have a drummer here on this one squad I don't know exactly what drummer gives in total because again didn't say really what drummer uh, adds to, uh, to our awesomeness uh, as you can see uh, let me click on the damnable thing get away drummer adds nothing okay cool for him let's make a squad let's take this formation of course you can change formation during the as you can see here you know then you can move this one this is specific to the defense against the stupid art of horsiness so yeah it works nonetheless let's do this uh, normal formation line formation is my formation of awesome because I just love the line formation because it looks awesome so let's get these guys to guard something not to just stand around doing nothing excellent the stable has been finished cavalry units have many advantages over infantrymen they are faster and stronger the presence of a cavalry is very important in action create several vitazis 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 Whatever the thing is, the Vitozo. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna use my fucking language if I have to explain Russian. Uh, the Knights of the Round Table, but there is no round table in Russia, mind you. So yeah. Oh god damn it! There's my stupid fucking cat again. It, that, she's such a whore, and I mean it. She is a whore, but I mean Jesus, she's an evil thing. She's beautiful though, but mm, I would do her. Anyway, we get five priests. We know what we can do with priests. Get get them under the freaking dude here. Guard units. Let's put uh, these uh, three priests on this one squad here. Two priests on that squad there. One priest on this squad here. Uh, maybe one this uh, just around this corner. Do nothing. Guard. 
Yeah, maybe we can guard these guys. We can guard these guys, right? We can guard these guys. Let's press G and numb them and just let's see how this works. Maybe we can uh, get them in total. No, we can't. As you can see, we can only capture the entire squad, but capture. Take the entire squad. These guys are reading the books, dropping the stuff on the freaking soldiers and just repairing them, so to speak. The good stuff, the bad stuff, whatever, as long as it suits other needs. Okay, my needs. So we get these guys, get these guys to guard these guys, get these guys to guard these guys, get this one priest to guard that priest, not really. Anyway, done that, get some uh, Knights of the Round Table, as you can see the good looking, uh, nice stuff. Of course, if you're playing the lower resolution as I said before, you would see much more detail. But again, it's so hard to manage the huge amount of force that can attack you from all directions. So this is the only way you can actually enjoy, unless if you go for bigger resolutions. Again, I do not like bigger resolutions. Bigger resolution means less detailed for me to watch. And again, beautiful detail, beautiful amount of detail on every building. Uh, as you can see, the, the freaking uh, church it looks beautiful. You know, there's so many beautiful details in this game, nonetheless, uh, and the an engine is very beautiful. So, waiting for more of these guys, uh, let's, uh, we can't build any more uh, stables, so we need 17,000, wow, 17,900 wood. Can you just fucking imagine how much things you just need for, you know, build, this is the building a next stable, mind you. I don't remember how much the stable cost before this. Okay, again, my neighbors, which are such nice people. Your neighbors plan to attack you again. They're dicks. <laughs> Be prepared to repel them, cause they're dicks. Expect them to attack from any direction like dicks. So at the moment, this is like a last stand of the first stand with the f Oh my god, they're coming. And of course, uh, Cossacks, I'm to my spearmen, uh, but my spearmen are like, uh, uh not this day. Uh, thankfully, I put many of my guys here to protect and they're attacking from this position. Let's get our awesome dudes. On to the Spearman, let's see if they're gonna survive, let's see the damage of course against Spearman, Spearman against others, I mean Spearman against the freaking, uh, freaking knights on horses, of course gonna die first, getting huge losses here, but uh, again, uh, thankfully, the uh, we have soldiers, the peasants can be captured, they can't really do anything here, uh, we're chasing them, they're running away from us, hoping to kill some soldiers, uh, soldiers, peasants, peasants are attacking uh, uh, the Spearman, Spearman are like, oh no, you don't it in your face, they're dead, aren't you? So the enemy is not attacking anymore. We kill most of their troops here, and that's it. Wunderbar! The enemy has been defeated, and you have learned how to control your units. You have accomplished the mission. Next time, it will be harder. And that's the end of this story. I'm thinking. So again, all best to you guys. Hope you enjoy this little bit. Uh, next tutorial, next mission, next awesome stuff. Two girls, three cups of tea. Always remember. That.